Hello everyone and welcome to my Plexus 2D tutorial today and in today's Plexus 2D tutorial I'll be discussing stability of dam under rapid drawdown. So this is tutorial 9 of the Plexus 2D tutorials. So I'll split this video into two parts. The first part being the part modeling this actual embankment over here and defining the soil parameters for this entire model from the fill to the core all the way to the subsoil. So let's take a look at this geometry of the project over here. So as we can see, the width of the subsoil is 260 meters wide. The thickness of the subsoil is 30 meters. The height of the embankment is 30 meters. And we can see that there's a core in the middle of this embankment here and there are fill materials located on the left and right over here. And on the very left, this is the upstream of the dam and the water levels are set at 25 meters or 5 meters over here. And now let's create our project. So let's open up our Plexus 2D file. I'll just name this as stability of dam under rapid drawdown. Okay, so let's proceed to the models tab over here. So we need to pay attention over here for the contours over here. So x min and x max are minus 130 and 130 meters respectively. Y min is minus 30, y max is 30. So key in minus 30 for y min and positive 30 for y max. And if you read closely over here, there are no additional settings required. So we use the default units and constants. So we can just click on OK. And next, we need to create our borehole. So we need to put it at x equals to 0 and y equals to 0. So click on the Create Borehole tool here. And 0, 0, is right over here. Left click once. Click on Add to add one layer. And the bottom would be minus 30 over here. And that's it. So this is our subsoil layer over here. Now we just need to create the materials for this model. So I'll create the subsoil right now. So you can see all the parameters in the table over here. So the subsoil has a more cooler material model over here. So this is set correctly. The drainage type is set to drained. The unsaturated and saturated unit weights are 17 and 21 kilonewtons per cubic meter. And let's scroll down. So we are moving on to the parameters tab over here. So key in 50,000 kilopascals here. And the Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3. And the cohesion value is 1 kilopascal over here. Now moving on, the friction angle is 35 degrees. And the psi value is 5 degrees. And that's it for the parameters tab. Moving on to the groundwater tab for the subsoil. So we'll be using a high press data set with a Van Nuchen model over here. So use high press and use Van Nuchen. And we'll be using the subsoil option here and the type would be coarse. Uh, the only soil that will be considered very fine is the core only. The fill is also coarse, just like the subsoil. So we've already set the soil to subsoil and coarse. So now let's key in the KX and KY values. So for the subsoil, we have 0 0.01 for both KY and KX. And the flow parameters use defaults is set to none. So we can just click on OK right now. As you can see, there's nothing else to go and edit. And if you read closely here, it says thermal interfaces and initial tab sheets are not relevant. So just remember that and let's assign the subsoil over here. That's great. So now let's define the materials for the fill. So the fill is also using a more Coulomb material model and it's also using a drain 
drainage type. The main difference between the fill and the subsoil is the saturated and unsaturated unit weights. So the unsaturated unit weight is 16 over here. And the saturated unit weight is 20. Like so. Moving on to the parameters tab, we'll just key in 20,000 kilopascals. So it's significantly lower than the subsoil. Poisson's ratio of 0 0.33. So we've already set the Poisson's ratio. Cohesion is 5 kilopascals over here. Friction angle is 31 degrees. And the dilatancy angle is 1 degree. And that's it for the parameters tab of the fill. Moving on to the groundwater tab over here, we'll be using a high press data set. The model is Van Nuchen. And just as the subsoil type before, we are supposed to use the same groundwater settings except for KX and KY. So, so if you already set the soil to subsoil over here and the type is coarse, now just key in the KX and KY values. So the KX and KY values in this case would be 1. And that's it. Click on OK. Now let's finally define our core. So we'll be using a more Coulomb model, but this time the drainage type would be undrained B. So for those of you who don't uh, remember undrained B, basically the stiffness is defined as effective properties and the strength is defined as undrained shear strength. So that's just to keep in mind over there. So the unsaturated and saturated unit weights are 16 and 18 respectively. So key in 16 and 18. And let's proceed to the parameters tab over here. So the Young's modulus is 1500 kilopascals, so 1500. And the Poisson's ratio is 0 0.35. So now the undrained shear strength is defined as 5 kilopascals over here. So key in 5. And let's proceed to the advanced options over here. So we need to key in Young's modulus ink or E ink. It is 300 over here. Y ref is 30. And Andrean Shear Strength Inc. is free. And that's it for the parameters tab for the core soil. So moving on to the groundwater tab over here. We'll be using a high press data set. Again, we're using Van Nuchen. And the type of soil is subsoil. But this time we'll be using a very fine type soil over here. And the KX and KY values are the same at 1 times 10 to the negative 4. So I'll just quickly key this in. And over here it says flow parameters use defaults as none. So that's about it. So that's it for our soils for this. Oh, my mistake over here. It's supposed to be 0 0.35 over here for the Poisson's ratio. So that's it for our soil model over here. So just click on OK and OK once more. So now let's define the dam of ours over here in this project. So proceed to the structures tab over here and you can find the dimensions over here. So I will just quickly go and create a soil polygon here in the rough shape of the dam. And then I can just adjust the size. So the first point is minus 80 comma 0. Minus 80 comma 0. The second point would be over here. And the second point is 92.5 comma 0. So 92.5 comma 0. The next point is 2.5 comma 30. So type in 2.5 comma 30. And then the last point is minus 2.5 comma 30. So type in minus 2.5. Whoops. And 30. So this is our dam over here. 
but we are missing something. We need to draw in our core over here. So let's use the cut polygon tool over here. So it's in the same drop down over here. Cut polygon. Wait. Uh, hit escape twice if the cursor doesn't show. All right, so now it's showing up. So the cut polygon should start from minus 2.5 comma 30 to 2.5 comma 30. So I'll just start it from about here to here. And then it should go down to minus 10 comma 0. Uh, sorry, it should go down to 10 comma 0. So 10 is right about here. And minus 10 is about here. And let's click on this one over here to end it. Okay, there we go. So this is our embankment over here. So we have the fill on the left and right. And in the middle, we have the core. Uh, looks like we mixed up the colors here. So the subsoil should be yellow and the core should be this cyan color. So let's quickly change that. For us over here, so let's just make this cyan. Okay. And then let's make this yellow. Like so. Okay, so now we won't have any confusion over here. We can easily see which is which. So let's go and proceed to the meshing tab. So we'll be using the Find element distribution over here. So let's generate the mesh. Use the find element distribution. Click on OK. And the mesh is generated over here. Let's quickly view the mesh. Click on continue. So this is our mesh for our dam over here in Plaxis 2D. So it looks pretty similar to the mesh over here. And that's it for this first part on stability of a dam under rapid drawdown. In the second part, I'll be discussing all the calculation steps. It is very long and very tedious, that's why I've decided to split it into two videos. And as always, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, especially if you like the content that I make. Stay safe, keep learning, and goodbye.